In this video, we'll be creating a very simple character controller in Godot. So the first thing you want to do is have a scene that contains a kinematic body, and you actually want the kinematic body to be the root of the scene. And then you can just call the scene player and the kinematic body FPS body. And then you want to create a new collision shape. You can like just call it body collision, create a capsule shape, set it to the size that you want it to, and then move it up a little bit. So the transform of the body is at zero zero, while this one is a little higher. Create another collision shape, call it V collision, set to box shape, and then you can actually set it at zero zero zero. And then create camera, have it somewhere inside body collision, and that's pretty much it for scene setup. We can now create script, and you can just call the script player.gd. So once we have our script, we can create some variables. We can have a constant, call it gravity and set equal to negative 15. We can have var velocity set equal to a blank vector 3. True max speed equals to 6. Max speed is just going to be 6. Jump force, this is how far the character will jump up, and we can just set that to 4. Acceleration is equal to 3. Direction is equal to a blank vector 3. Deacceleration is equal to 5. Max slope angle is equal to 45. We're creating a reference to the camera. And we're creating a var for mouse sensitivity. And then in our ready function, we want to set the mouse mode to captured. And this makes the mouse no longer visible and preventing it from moving out the window. And then we want to create a physics process. And we want to call three functions, process input, process movement, and handle stances. And then we just pass in delta. So to actually create those functions, we would have func process input and then have in delta in these parentheses, resetting the direction to a vector 3 every time so it does not linearly increase in speed. And then we're creating a new variable and calling it cam underscore x form, and then we're just saying that to the camera dot get global transform. And then we're also creating another vector 2 and calling it input movement vector. And this will actually handle our input. And then you want to go to your input map, you want to do move forward, move backward, move left, and move right. W, S, A, and D. So was. You can also have your arrows as well. And then we're checking for move forward. We're adding 1 to the input movement vector on the Y. Move backward, we're subtracting it from the Y. Move left, we're subtracting it from the X. And move right, we're adding it to the X. And then we're normalizing that vector. And then we're doing some math here. I'm not actually quite sure what this does, but based off what it's doing, we can see that it's adding something to the direction. So negative cam x form dot basis dot z times input movement vector dot y. So I so you might be able to figure out what this does, but I do not. And then we want to call a function if is on floor. We want to do if input dot is action pressed, move jump. So you can go to your input map, move jump, just set that to space. And then you can say velocity.y is equal to the jump force. So we're adding a number to the velocity.y to apply our jump force. And then you want to do if input dot is action just pressed, you like cancel. And then we're hiding the mouse or showing the mouse, depending if the mouse is already shown or hidden. So just copy this code from here. This is actually fairly simple code, so I'm not really going to be explaining it. The next function you're wanting to create is called process movement, and then you once again have delta. And then we're saying the dire dot y, so direction dot y to zero, then we're normalizing it. And then we're adding delta times gravity, so we're applying gravity to our velocity. And then we're doing we're creating another variable called hfill, and we're just saying it equal to velocity. And then we're resetting the y of h fill. And then we create another variable called target, just set equal to dire, also known as direction. We multiply each axis in target by max speed. And then we create another variable called excel. And then we do some dot math here to get if it's either if we should accelerate or deaccelerate. So you can just copy this into your script here. And then we're linearly interpolating the target by the acceleration in delta. So we do hvel is equal to hvel.linear interpolate. We're passing in target. 
Excel times delta. Delta is so it doesn't depend on frame rate. And then we're saying the velocity dot x to the hvl dot x, and then velocity dot z to hvl dot z. And then we're saying velocity is equal to move inside, and we're passing in velocity as our primary thing. Vector three zero comma one comma zero comma zero point zero five comma four comma degree two rad, and then passing in the max slope angle. So that's all. So the max slope angle is pretty much how far would the character can up. And then the final one that's actually going to be called from physics process is handle stances. So we're creating some new inputs, some move crouch and move prone. You could have alt and C for move crouch, and for move prone you could just have control. And then we're checking for move crouch. We're interpolating the scale of just this FPS body here along the y-axis to something smaller, so 0 0.5. And then the time is delta times 2. The higher this number is, the faster it will interpolate. And then we're lowering the max speed. If we're not currently pressing move crouch, then we are interpolating the scale of this FPS body on the y-axis back to 1. And then you're saying the max speed to the true max speed. And then it's pretty much just the same thing from move prone, except we're interpolating it to a smaller size. We're receiving a different key. And we are lowering the max speed. So that's pretty much it for the um, physics process. Things are that are getting called from the physics process. But this is still not the complete character controller. So we want to check if the... So we want to create a function called input underscore input. And it takes in an event. And then we can say if event is input event mouse motion. And input dot get mouse mode is equal to input dot mouse mode captured. So we're checking if it's mouse motion and if it is captured. And then if it is, we're rotating this entire FPS body along the Y axis. So we're pretty much rotating it around. And then we're saying degree to rad event dot relative dot X times mouse sensitivity times negative one. And negative one prevents it from being reversed. And then if it's vertical mouse motion then we're saying camera dot rotate underscore x degree to rad event dot relative dot y times mouse sensitivity times negative one so we're getting the y axis of the mouse motion and then we're clamping the camera rotation by negative 0 0.9 and by one so negative 0 0.9 will be how far the player can look down and one will be how far it looks up so if you like this video be sure to like and subscribe it helps out the channel and helps get content like this recommended to others fun newber out